Yo, what's up guys, Crazy Dude Gone Rad there, and I'm going to bring you a new, brand new tutorial on how to make, uh, advanced, uh, Cinema 4D materials. Basically, I, I've had, uh, a few people ask me before how I make my tutorials, um, how I make my materials look so realistic. So what I'm going to show you is, um, <clears throat> you've seen right here, you got, obviously, the, what most people do is they, they normally just mark it up in any old colour, or, say, Say like a dark grey, and then they just put like like a real reflection on of about twenty percent, and then then they try and render it out like that. So like obviously that looks like crap. To be honest. So what I'm going to show you is what you got to do is um if you grab a plane and work it right up to yeah fifty percent and. Add a lumin luminance to that. Double click that. Uh, take the lum luminance and take the color and the specular, and just drag that onto the plane. Right click the plane. Cinema 4D tiles. Composite and uh, and take scene by camera. Wait, on that. And take scene by reflections. So yeah. And also what you're going to want to do is just drag the um, layer on here now. Go into settings, effects, global illumination. And then double click on the layer. And then what, what you want to do is go into texture, drag it down to noise. Double click that. Uh, double click where the white is. Drag that to the, like a darker grey. And then change the global scale from 100% to about um, twenty percent. So yeah, as you can see, you got the green here. Um. Uh. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want the reflection to also be the same as well. So go into noise, and you don't really need to worry about the um. Yeah, that should be alright like that. Um. Bring it down a little. So yeah, um, what you're, <coughs> what you're going to want is uh, on the notice to that um, to, so that you got the uh, the depth of it. So also make sure the depth is reasonably dark, and then change that to about fifteen. 15 global scale, so then you get a nice depth with it. So, as you can see right here, um, actually, that plane could do with the uh, with a bit more, more inwards. So yeah, you can roughly kind of see what I'm on about. Hmm. Also, it's sometimes nice helps if you have more than one light in. This is only a quick story, so. Alright, so if you see right here. Uh, let me use some else. Um, <clears throat> generally, if you use like a circle or something like that, generally comes out better. So if you just pretty much use it like that, and then. I think you get the more or less general drift of what I'm on about with the tutorial. But you can get higher resolution textures. See, right there, that's what I was on about. Right, so now you can see, obviously, you got the nice light in. Obviously, if you have the tag on it, then 
<clears throat> Obviously, you, you won't have to worry about that, but yeah, if you want like high quality textures and all that type of stuff, just follow the, the tutorial, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, I've tried this run, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe for more.